Yes, 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 yes. Hello. I was right. <laughs> so, right in here, the treasure hunt that we started in the last episode right here behind the sign that sparkles and glows, the lights flow. If you lose at this game, you fight this pleasure, but that's where you will find your treasure. And I thought, you know what? This is the only sparkling sign in the whole shopping district. And guess what? I was right. Yes. <laughs> so it is behind here somewhere. Um, I'm not quite sure how we can do this. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I should go in from the other side and I have to lower this because the, the fire is just very loud. But I think we will have to go in from maybe behind back here. I'm gonna try not to break anything. Um, okay. Oh, I see something. I think this is it. I'm gonna pick it up and uh, then we're gonna go and see what it is. All right. Was it worth the diamond block. Let's see. Okay, that's actually pretty good because I need these fireworks. So that is actually pretty good. The redstone, you know, I have a lot of redstone, but as a redstone er, you can't really have too much redstone. So that is not that bad actually. And <laughs> then 10 apples. That's it. And I guess, oh, oh dear. Well, that was a phone call. <laughs> But as I was saying, uh, I guess the shulker box is included as well, so that alone as well, together with the other stuff, is actually pretty cool. I was maybe hoping for some diamonds, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I have no idea how this actually works. Um, yeah, uh, he, he said that when he placed this in, that he accidentally broke it, but I don't see it broken. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna try and fiddle with anything. So that overall is pretty good. I'll make sure that it's meant to actually include the shulker box, but I assume it is. Um, I'm gonna keep that as well. I don't think he wants that back. So that's pretty cool. That was certainly actually a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun doing that and I was right. Yes. Anyways, hello and welcome back to another episode of Ramble Craft. We are once again starting here in the shopping district and uh, because we have some business to attend to here. So first off, I want to make sure, well not make sure, I want to check if we have made any profit at these two shops and then we got to do something with the fish shop. But let us first of all take a look at Netherrecious, Nether, you know what, I'm, I'm not honestly sure how to pronounce my own shop name, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyways, have we made... Ooh! We have made two blocks of diamonds. So four netherite ingots remain here in the netherite shop. Pretty cool stuff. Um, Hanlon still hasn't uh, stocked up his thing yet, but I know he has been busy. So uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to get some boxes there. Uh, the slime time here. Oh, we've eight, made eight diamonds. Not bad, okay. So two blocks and eight diamonds are our uh, current uh, earnings. So that is really cool. Now, the fish shop, I am not expecting anything to be done here. Like to be bought, yeah, no, okay. So I have decided on what to do with this shop. And in the last episode, I asked you guys what you think uh, would be best to do with the shop. I made a poll and let me actually pull it up here one second. All right, so I gave you guys three options on what to do. One, try and sell the building. Two, demolish the building and build another shop. And the winner by over 50% was rebranded and sell something else there. So basically keep the building as it is, remove the fish sign and the stuff inside and sell something else. And that is exactly what we will be doing. So today, uh, you know what? I need to clear up my inventory, but today, um, uh, we, all these are full. Why? <laughs> this is not... Wait, what do we even have in here? Ah, that's from the... Okay, you know what? This will have to be... Oh, wait, I have this. Right. Uh, yeah, let me... Okay, this should be good, though. This should be fine. Let me just put that away. Yeah, I need some more shulker boxes here. Uh, but yes, today we will uh, be taking down the signs here, the fish, also this stuff right here. All of that will be going and the shop will basically be empty before we leave the shopping district today. Now, I don't think we will get to build what is going to be in here. I already have a plan for what to put in here. 
and I'm pretty excited by it, but I think we will have to do it in the next episode because I need to do some more, uh, I guess, preparations and planning, I guess you could say. Uh, just gonna put all these fish in here. I mean, this isn't a total loss for me because I can eat the fish myself. Now I don't need to worry about food. But even if I did have to worry about food, I do know that uh, I think Chaster and Hocus is working together on the barn there. And they have some pretty good steak for sale. Um, so food would not be an issue for me. And I think we will just be doing some quick rebranding here and taking down this right here. Because I do not, in the for the future thing that I will be turning this into, I will not be wanting this here. I want the window to be open. And yeah, there we go. The shop is now empty. I am still missing the huge fish sign though. Uh, which we do need to take down. Unfortunately. <laughs> I, I like the fish, it's cute, but uh, we, we will have to put something else there. Now again, I do think I have a plan for it, um, which I'm really excited about, but I won't spoil it uh, until next episode. Wow, that looks so weird. That looks so weird. I feel like I should put... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna put some signs here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Construction in progress, new shop coming soon. I think that is everything I need to take from this place. Let me just make sure I don't have anything in the barrels behind here. Uh, nope, we are good. All right, beautiful. I think that's it for this. Yes, I think we're done here in the shopping district for right now. Uh, we may return. Well, I know for a fact we will be returning because we're actually, in fact, not done here. Um, This is a bit, I guess, awkward, not awkward. I don't know. Uh, two weeks later. Wait, two weeks? One week? Ten days? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> it's been a while since the last recording. Um, because, yeah, I did, did, did stuff. Um, so, two things have happened. One, we have been streaming two streams here on the Rebelcraft server. Um, if you have not watched them, I believe I made a playlist for them. And if I remember, which I never do, so remind me in the comments if I haven't. Uh, I'll leave a playlist link in the description. But anyways, uh, we've been hard at work in the streams. Um, you guys that have been watching and me, we have been collecting resources. So, we have collected a ton of sand and also a ton of gravel as you can see here. Um, these shulker boxes are completely full. Completely full of sand and gravel. So now I will be able to make a bunch of concrete, maybe on stream, not sure, maybe off camera, <laughs> because there's a lot here um, for the base. We have also collected a bunch of quartz and turned it into smooth quartz, because we will be needing that today, because we have a project or at the base. Um, we have a lot of projects to, to work on in the coming episodes. So if you're not yet subscribed, be sure you are if you enjoy what you see here, trying to reach 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Can we do it? It's up to you guys. So if you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, leave a like. But um, yeah, with that said, we have a project over at the base. But first, in my absence, someone left a barrel here. Um, but first, I also heard creepy footsteps. And there were a creeper out here before. It has just been raining. And uh, yeah, yeah, I knew it. I heard you, you little sneaker. Actually, I'm happy. I need to go and <laughs> But anyway, someone has left a mysterious barrel here. Now, I have on purpose not uh, been reading what's on the sign. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the bunker club. Ooh. Wait, what's going to be inside? What? Bunker club membership card. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. All right. I like that. I like that. I'm going to take that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Snatched. Um, hopefully it's okay. I'm keeping the barrel. I assume so. Um, all right. I'm going to keep that in my ender chest. I don't know if I'll need it, but now it's here if I do. Um, all right. So we have two projects today. Um, one is at our base, and then a little bit of explaining and planning for what is to come with the base in the future. And then I have something to do, two things to do at the shopping district. But first, um, I gotta get some stuff. I have more grey concrete than that, didn't I? Oh. Right. Um, I need... 
I don't think I need white concrete. I need a bunch of gray concrete. I'm gonna take all of it because I don't know how much I need. I don't need any of that, but I need all of this on the land. So what we will be installing today at the base is going to be the floor. Yes, we need a floor in here so we can start really getting on with this thing. And some future ideas or future things we will be doing for this place is adding an elevator, um, adding an item receiver, because if you remember, I want all items from the farms to reach this point of the island and get into a sorter. So we will get that item collection ready, um, get the elevators ready, and I'll start designing and thinking of how on earth I want this place to be underneath here because we will be going down. I don't know how far up I will be going with this thing, but we will have to see. Um, it is something that we can easily expand on in a way. I think there's one more layer I want to add and then maybe just cap it off for now so we can get some of the more like advanced stuff done like item sorter and whatnot and some more farms because I do really need to get on with some more farms. Um, there is currently a market actually that I could be participating in, but we will uh, discuss that at the shopping district. So I guess, oh, wait, what? Oh. I thought I saw something like up there above my head, like pillager. Okay, enough time has been wasted already. Let's get to it. Time lapse. All right, the floor has been completed and I am pretty happy with it. I must say, um, I think anyway, <laughs> I think I like it. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Get out of here. But did you see that? It just flew right through his head. That's, that's illegal. But anyways, uh, that is the floor done. I'm not gonna do much more, yeah, anything to the base uh, anymore in this episode because I need to plan some more things. But I think in the next episode though, uh, we will get a lot more done here at the base. But anyways, I have something I need to do. We need to go to the shopping district because one, there's a project I need to do over there, but also uh, someone is selling something that I really, really want. But first I need, um, yeah, um, can I get a stack of this, uh, please? Oh yes, perfect. Sweet. Also, all of these chests are still not moved. That is everything that Atel and I got from building the slime farm. Uh, yeah, I still need to move it. But anyways, uh, let me just get this ready. All of this is gonna make sense in a bit. <laughs> it's all gonna make sense <laughs> in a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I think I got everything. Yes, everything is over at the shopping district where I need it. Let's go. All right, so we're at the shopping district. Oh, let me fly. And I know that Endavar said that he has, I think anyway, yes, he has renamed his science shop to Endavar's Emporium and he's now selling fireworks. Yes, diamond, one diamond for one stack, tier one. All right. That is exactly the one that I use. So one diamond for one stack. Um, yoink! <laughs> that should have that that should have me sorted for at least a few episodes. Here and Dev are currently sold out. Now seems like they have collected their diamonds, but maybe someone else needs to be selling fireworks as well. And I would love to have a sugarcane farm and also a creeper farm. So maybe I found a use for the old shop. We will have to see. But anyways, that is not what we're doing here in the shopping district today. We're making a little bit of a project. As you can see, um, there's this area here and this is actually my area. I bought this. I've already placed two diamond blocks over at the pile. Um, and as you can see, I've marked it with these redstone blocks because I just have so much redstone. I might as well use it. Um, so as you can see, these two chunks right here. Now this uh, square right here is not a, um, what's it called? This is not a, uh, 
16 by 16 area because uh, Kieran Dev's shop are right here and then from here to there is 12 blocks, but that is perfectly fine. I don't need all this space. I just have something that's going to be quite long, so I need two chunks for that. Um, but anyways, I have a project here and that is a small, a little bit of gravel and sand collection. You see, it would be very, very nice to have a way of getting gravel and sand while I'm basically not doing anything. So I thought, how can I do that? And how can I also make it interesting for other ramblers uh, here on the server? So I have come up with a way, a kind of a mini game, I guess you could say. So the idea is basically that we're gonna have um, two stacks of uh, sand and gravel just sitting here and two chests where you can deposit a stack of gravel or a stack of sand into. And when you do that, the machine that I have already designed it, by the way, uh, will count the 64 blocks. And when 64 blocks have been counted of gravel or sand, it's going to spit out a reward. Or you could also be unlucky and get an oof. Or that's run. <laughs> it can't all be, it, it, it has to be something that makes it interesting, right? So I can actually show you, uh, that's my redstone box. This is the rewards that I was thinking of, but I'm going to rearrange it a little bit um, to implement these right here. So the idea is that it will be sped out by a dispenser or dropper, which is automatically going to randomize what it spits out from its inventory. So it is a random chance to get something from here. Um, and then these are the building blocks required. So I'm going to build that and I'm not sure how I'm going to show this if I'm going to get into a creative world. I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm going to build this. I don't know if it's even going to be a time lapse or not, but I'm gonna build this and uh, I'll see you in the next clip. I don't know what it's gonna be. See ya. <laughs> And just like that, the gravel sand place is complete, I think. Also, why does it not show that my armor is enchanted? Huh. That must be the, the shade I'm using. I just realized that now. Oh, now it does. Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, we will be moving on from that. Um, and this is the place. I think I'm okay with it. I could make it prettier. I might come back and make some... Uh, additions to it. But anyways, this is the idea. So we have the lectern here in the middle. I'm not going to read everything out right. Okay, maybe I will. All right, I will. It says, hello, fellow rambler. Welcome to Lucky Grain, where you can earn stuff. Hopefully I spelled that right. If not, I'll correct it. <laughs> Simply deposit. You, you get it because sand, gravel, rain, stuff. I don't know. Simply deposit 64 blocks of gravel or sand into their correct barrel. Must be 64. Exactly. I'll show you the rest on behind this. Let the machine count. Uh, after that, let the machine count the stuff and ding! Next page. Your award will be spat out by the small gravel pile to the right of the select turn. That is, if you are facing it right, I mean, if you are facing it backwards, you are just weird. That's a joke. Yeah, but if you are facing it backwards, then you, you are weird. Um, yeah. The reward could be anything from a diamond to a rotten flesh. Guess you'll just have to see what is in between. Oh, and there's a chance to get a diamond block. To get collecting. All right, we'll just uh, wait. Hold on. We'll reset that to the first page. And these are the barrels right here. So we have a barrel, barrel for gravel and barrel for sand. Um, I guess it's pretty obvious. I guess I can just play some signs just to be sure. All right, so that is the surface. And Endavar did just hop online. So maybe we will actually get a pretty early visitor. Who who knows? He may be the first one to see this. But anyways, uh, if we go back down here, this is. The redstone. All right, so I'm going to try and explain this as well as I can. If I suck at it, 
uh, scream at me down in the, below in the comments and I'll jump into a creative world in the next episode. But um, basically what we have going on here. So firstly, we have oh, you gotta be kidding me. So firstly, we have two hoppers. On top of this hopper right here, uh, we have the barrel that you see on the surface. That then goes into this barrel right here. But first, we have a comparator right behind there that reads this hopper. And there are exactly enough items in here so that if we add one more, um, the signal strength of the comparator increases, shutting this torch off. All right, so far so good. It then goes down, 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 all the way down here into this barrel. And once again, we have the same comparator set up so that when exactly 64 blocks are here, this redstone will power this, which then does a bunch of stuff. So when 64 blocks of either sand or gravel are in this barrel, first thing first, um, let's go, let's start from the left here. This gets powered, which basically shuts this torch off which turns this torch on, which basically blocks this hopper so that if a person throws it two stacks, for example, they get held here until this barrel is empty, otherwise the system breaks. Um, plus, it powers this redstone right here. Uh, this is basically just a restored torch elevator that goes up to a dispenser, which spits out the reward. Then we also have a ding sound that plays when the 64 uh, blocks have been counted. Thing like that and then over here this bit of redstone gets powered this is basically a comparator um, timer so this is going to stay powered just long enough for the 64 blocks that were added here by the hopper will then go into this chest that is basically what this does and um, this line right here will also get powered as the timer gets powered uh, eh. Turning off the torch, unblocking this hopper right here. And then back here, <laughs> at the same time as the timer is started, this is turned on, which basically keeps this hopper blocked. <gasps> That was a mouthful. Anyways, um I hope that was I hope that made sense. Um yeah, it, hopefully it did. Um, I'm just gonna steal these two right there and block that up. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm probably gonna come back and tidy things up. But anyways, that is the main idea of it. So I've just left these um, redstone blocks here because this is technically, this is still my land. Um, I bought it and there's redstone all the way over here somewhere. Um, so we could technically put a build on top of this. So if we ever want to shop here, um, that is totally doable. So that is really cool. But yeah, that is that little project I wanted to do. I say little, but man, it was a little bit of a pain. Um, yeah, so yes. And I might add different uh, rewards in the future as well. So I might change things up. I might all of a sudden make a huge sign saying bonus item, enchanted something, something is available. Um, yeah, 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 have fun. <laughs> Have fun trying to get it. <laughs> so that is the plan. Um, I guess we should just try. So say I have collected one stack of gravel. I'm gonna put it into the gravel barrel blah, 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 right here. Okay, I'm speeding too fast. It goes down and I just have to wait for the ding. Now I should say I would love this to be faster, but I just can't. This is Minecraft physics and hopper physics. I just cannot make this any faster. Unfortunately, but there we go. It has been emptied. Wait a little bit. Ding. And just wait a second. And oh, would you look at that? We won a diamond. Now I'm not going to show you everything that is inside the dispenser. To other Ramblers watching, have fun. It's uh, open for business. <laughs> Give me all the sand and gravel you wish. There's plenty of rewards in there of each kind of reward to go around. Um, so yeah, have fun. <laughs> all right, um, yeah, that was that project. I spy another wandering trader. Yes, I was visited by another one. Do we have anything interesting? Uh, a lot of microblocks. I really, I need a way to get diamonds. There is so much that I need to do. So much that I need to do. And I hope you are excited for it because I have a lot of stuff planned. But with that project behind me done, 
I really hope you have enjoyed because this is the end of this episode. In the next episode, I'm not sure what we will be doing, but again, I have a lot of plans. I just basically need to choose what to do and what is most important. But anyways, that will be it for this episode. I really, really hope you have enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this place down below in the comments. And also, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. We are almost at 3000 subscribers. We are less than 80 subscribers away. So can we get to 3000 before the end of the year? It's up to you. Subscribe if you enjoy what I do here. Leave a like and comment um, something. How was your day? I hope it was good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Ow. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.